We have started ECDL around 15 years ago. It was an introduction from uh, through the national curriculum, and uh, the, the, we thought that the ECDL curriculum fits very well with what the, stu the school wanted. With the help of uh, these modules, um, they are encouraging and giving trust to the students and empowering them to, uh, to use the, the, the program as should and give the best results to the teacher. Our main objective was, first of all, to give the students a service. It also helps um, with regards to our ICT lessons because the, the ECDL program takes place during the ICT lessons. So we sort of um, accommodate both together. Having exams at school, and usually not at the time when we have our own exams, that was an added challenge because we have to find the time for them. When time at school is very limited, we're all over the place having so many activities. We teach them how to access the internet, um, uh, to find news, read news, find information as well, to keep themselves up to date mm -hmm. of what is happening around them. Besides that, we also um, teach them um, how to create documents and presentations. Mm -hmm. Um, which we find them useful um, uh, in their studies and working life as well. What they have learned through, the, through ECDL to be able to work on other projects. I mean, they, they can uh, use Word to, to prepare essays, they can use PowerPoints, they can put up presentations. And it's very interesting, sometimes I do lesson observations and I notice that some students, like, they have a history presentation, okay, and they're using PowerPoint, mm -hmm. okay, so they're presenting to the whole class. And that, that's, that's something which is, I mean, really great for the kids. I mean, they're very much into it. ECDL has been beneficial for my schoolwork as well as my future. For school it has helped me for if I ever needed a, to do a presentation or a word document and print it as a project or something. The, I've always found the ECDL more How useful. Many when we need to do a PowerPoint to show what we have done mm -hmm. and we know more about it and more templates and designs. Mm -hmm. Like before I didn't really know a lot about it mm -hmm. and the CDL showed me that there's more I need to discover more about PowerPoint and about Word, main merge. Mm -hmm. Very good. When we need to present any work. Mm -hmm. We have a better knowledge of what we're meant to do and not to do, yeah. um, the right and wrong. Mm -hmm. And also, like, after school you need to think for the future. So even in sixth form or university, during assignments to present them properly, you can use the things we learned in the CDA mm -hmm. to present them in a more formal way. When I present a project, I like using PowerPoint presentations a lot, so when I Every time I do a different project, it's always going to turn out differently, and that's what I like about it. I think that uh, learning all of the little tricks that you can do with Microsoft Word and Excel helped me a lot in my school subjects like chemistry and biology. Being able to do graphs on the computer and not manually. If I like, continue on accounts or something like that, um, Excel will help me a lot. Mm -hmm. Because you can do accounts and all these other functions that you can use. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, make work much quicker and faster. Mm -hmm. um, database also helps you to keep a record of stuff. So if I work like as a library or something mm -hmm. on that basis, you can leave, like, keep list of products or something. If I continue down the line of um, sciences or chemistry, then do, uh, having graphs with many more data points mm -hmm. Is much easier. If I get if I get a job that involves me also having to be more organized, Excel can help me make tables or involving me to do a lot of PowerPoints, then the PowerPoint presentation easily would be useful as well.